Hello, Americans. None of friends and subscribers around the world. Thank you, man. <laughs> so this morning, I'm actually getting ready to uh, head out and do a little uh, rail mushroom hunting. And going to take rods. I didn't get all my rods restrung or anything last night. So, and you can hear it's loud in the background. I actually got a, some equipment over here digging up. Uh, uh, oh, we had a, one of the pipes is just out of my... Uh, off my property, man, it was clogged up, ended up causing a lot of flooding, so I got some equipment and stuff out here, so it's kind of loud out here, but, um, anyway, I didn't finish all, getting all my rods strung and everything last night, ended up doing some listing, some other work, but, so got up this morning, to, um, getting ready to go, uh, get dressed and wash up and stuff, and we tore the water heater apart, man, it's done, so I actually ordered another water heater last night, that's that propane continuous hot water heater. I've uh, got another one of those on order. 100, 130 bucks, man. Uh, free shipping. They're great. Water heaters. But I'll tell you, man, when they conk out, they conk out. But anyway, I got up this morning and uh, uh, got a comment, man. You know, you can't fix stupid. And, uh, you know, man, most of the time I don't even address them and all that stuff. And this guy, I think his uh, um, name's R. Ford or something like that, you know, and he's been, I've seen him on there before and stuff, and he made, he's made some comments and stuff, but this morning he's, uh, uh, just, you yeah, know, whatever, dude, but anyway, so we're gonna call it Dorf, you know, Ford spelled backwards, Dorf, so here's the old Dorf, you know, what is, and I, and the thing about comments, if you're building a channel or whatever, man, is, and Miss Kitty's got me to do it, you know, I used to address them and stuff like that this morning, and I'm just in the, in one of them moods, I figure I'll go ahead, you wanna talk, buddy, let's talk. I love them uh, keyboard warriors. Um, so anyway, so on his email and stuff, addressing, I guess, my last video, you know, when I mentioned that I'd done bass tournaments, and he tells me, and first of all, um, he get, in his email, he keeps addressing Miss Kitty, Miss Kitty. Well, first of all, man, freaking anybody that starts poking at Miss Kitty or poking at my kids, I'm going to knock you on your ass. So, for, you know, don't, don't be attacking my wife or kids. You got something to say to me, even say it to me. And if you'd like to talk first, I'd love to. Um, but anyway, freaking, so he starts off with uh, um, telling me how full of shit I am, that I'm, that I'm full of a bunch of bullshit. It's always back when, you know, and first you're a, you were a carpenter, a master carpenter. You know, I never claimed to be a master carpenter, man, but I build houses. And then, and then you're a bass pro. I never said I was a bass pro. I said I fished the bass tournaments. And all I did is a short little mention of saying I had all them rods. I'll tell you what, back when I fished the bass tournaments, when I was 21 or 22 years old, all my buddies and stuff, man, because I bass fished, you know, three and four days a week. I'd go out after work, everything, man. It was an addiction. And everybody, oh, you didn't fish them tournaments and stuff. Well, I went out and fished the bass tournaments for two years. Uh, I always teased that I almost got divorced over it because it cost so much money. We had babies at home, and I was out running around. I ran the tri-states, the Washington, Oregon, Idaho tri-state bass tournaments for two years, two seasons, and I lost my butt, man. I was spending $1,000 a month on stuff, and I mean, not counting motels and all this stuff, and I never even got in the top ten. I realized that, uh, you know, man, I thought I was good, but them boys out there are uh, amazing. So, I did do that. So, you know what I thought I'd do? You know, so here's this guy. So, he's telling me, oh, you're so full of it, so full of it, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I was just drinking my coffee, <laughs> thinking about it. So, thanks to Dorf, you guys are getting this little rant video right now instead of a fishing or morel mushroom hunting video. I would have put his link, but I, I uh, you know, read the comment. Most of the time, I won't even read them if they start off crappy. I just... Uh, main thing to do is, man, block and delete. That's, if you're starting a channel, just block and delete them jackasses because that's, you know, it just ain't really worth your time. But, uh, so you know what I thought I'd do is I, I'm going to run across real fast, try to run down. And, you know, 50 years old, you know, I remember when people freaking, you know, you're in your 20s or whatever, 20s or 30s, you know, and you talk to a guy in his 50s, 60s, 70s, you know, and I have friends that, man, are in their 80s and 90s that, uh, Man, when they talk, you know, sometimes you can say, man, I think that dude is full of crap, man. He has done everything. Well, the older you get and you start chalking it up, and I tell kids, I've said that to Miss Kitty before. It's like, man, when I talk, I'll be telling someone, well, I've done that for a while. You know, and I think, God dang, man, these people are probably thinking, oh, this guy's one of those guys that's done everything. 
you know, man, and I ain't done everything. But I'm going to run down a list real fast, in brief, to, sh to talk about what I have done in uh, 50 years. You know, so, okay, I was born, <laughs> and always, don't forget, man, since I was like a... Uh, Eight or ten, man. I've always been junking, man. Did my first yard sale out in front of my mom's house, probably ten to twelve years old. Always junking, so I'm not gonna mention that. But the fruit, the the treasures, and the rusty gold, and the setting up of flea markets started at fifteen. I've done that the whole time, so I'm not gonna mention that every time. But I'm gonna run down a list of jobs and stuff that I've done. Some of the things that I've done over the years. <coughs> so I started off, man. At six years old, I started helping my grandpa because he owned Bose Silfast, which was a uh, automotive. They, you know, uh, supplying uh, oil filters and air filters and valve stems, you know, and all that, so all the tire stuff. So at six years old, I started pulling parts with my grandpa loading his truck. From there, I did that from the time I was six to the time I was uh, 15. Then I went to work at Wendy's, flinging hamburgers. From Wendy's, then I went and decided to, uh, like an idiot, and went and lived with my freaking dad for a year. My father and lived on a freaking ranch on the Rogue River. You know, that's when I started steelhead and salmon fishing. So I worked with him. We had a waterbed store, uh, a lighting store where we sold glitter lamps, lava lamps, all that kind of stuff. Lived up there with him for a year. My grandpa passed away. I came back down to, or back to Idaho. And, uh, Went back to the school with all the kids that I went to school with and met Kitty, Miss Kitty, at 15. And then uh, at that time I went, uh, where the heck was I working then, man? I might have been, that might have been when I went to work at Wendy's when I came back. That was. Okay, I went and lived with my father, came back. Then I went to work at Wendy's, met Miss Kitty and ran around and stuff, did that. Went back to visit my father and ended up staying up there again, which Kitty was not impressed with and went back and worked up there and then we opened up or he opened up an arcade so then I ran an arcade for about a year and then he did his thing and stuff and I stayed in Oregon he moved on stayed in Oregon and I went back to work at Wendy's for a little while you know hamburger flinging hamburger from Wendy's I went to work at a mill worked at a, uh, a molding mill making molding Oregon cut stock and worked there for well over a year, um, quit there, and went to work hanging drywall. So then I hung drywall, man, Ugh, man, doesn't like hanging drywall, but I did that for a year or so. And from there, because um, I'm going to go on forever, I'm gonna, we're going to go over this 50 years, man. Here you go, North. So then from there I went, so I hung drywall, and then I came, uh, Heck, I hung drywall. Oh, and then I had, not only did I hang drywall, then after that I hooked up and I started doing handyman stuff for a guy that was holding a bunch of rentals. And I'd go around and, um, you know, fix little things, man. Put new windows in and do all these little things, you know. All, you know, somebody showed me one time and just kind of went with it. Yeah, my, my father and grandpa, everybody always built stuff, so I always grew up doing that kind of stuff. So I had the, you know, swinging a hammer thing in my blood. So from there, then I uh, came back to Idaho. Um, went to work at a, a mobile home factory building modular home buildings and I was building walls. Did that for however long and from there at the same place I went from there and became an electrician for eight months and realized that I don't like doing electrical work and stuff so then from there I got a job offer at Kit Manufacturing to be a mobile home serviceman. And Miss Kitty, you know Miss Kitty came back, we got back, we actually weren't married yet but I was working at building you know doing these walls at the mobile home park and got the job offer for kit went to work for kit um that didn't last all that long because i'd take off you know man be gone they'd say we were going to be gone for two weeks we'd be gone for a month or whatever and then come back for a weekend they'd want me to leave miss kitty was at home so i can't even remember it wasn't very long i did the mobile home service work um so i ended up quitting that me and miss kitty got married and i went to work at a cabinet shop for Man, a very short period of time because I'd applied some other jobs and why I was and all I was doing was sandy cabbage, man, it clogged my nose up with sawdust. Man, so. so from there uh, I got a job offer for Henderson Wheel in Garden City, man. They're another uh, supply company. They do, you know, axles and brakes and wheels and tires and you know auto parts and stuff like that. I got a job offer with them to drive truck. So I went and drove a fifth wheel truck with a gooseneck. 
is what I started off with and in the meantime of there and I actually worked there for five or six years uh, I ended up getting my class A CDL to drive trucks we got a bigger truck so I started you know so I drove truck did all that for five or six years um, life went on things changed and stuff I ended up leaving there and went to work with uh, my best friend Paul Pauly that I always talk about on here and we start or started building houses, stick built houses. Man, he's a he's a now he's a master carpenter, man. Paul is an amazing carpenter, um, and man, I learned a lot of things with him. Man, he's actually younger than me, so about six years younger than me, I think. Anyway, so went to work. We started this framing company. Did that for a couple of years. Man, built I don't know, man, probably twenty five houses or something. I don't know framed up you know from the you know from the floor all the way up to the roof from there when uh, then Paul got divorced and stuff so he went did his thing and I went and started a handyman remodeling business and did that for a while which ended up turning into uh, because I just had this natural thing for roofs so from the, the handyman thing I found myself doing more roofs so then I was just roofing all the time flea markets and all that going on all the time so man, so I got the handyman business, I'm doing all that, um, and from there, uh, I don't even really know what the heck from there, oh, from there, then Miss Kitty, when she was pregnant with Kevin D, you know, like I said, I'm still doing flea markets and yard sales and stuff like that on the weekends, you know, collecting crap, going to five auctions a week and all that stuff, so that's when, well, maybe I'm missing something else I did along the way there. From there is when uh, Miss Kitty got on bed rest with Kevin, and we'd been talking about. Uh, she told me if I could do a year with the kids. I want she was working at the bank. Miss Kitty, I ain't even going into all the different jobs she did and stuff. But uh, as we went along, so Miss Kitty, you know, I had to. She was on bed rest with Kevin, and we talked about it. And if, she says, "Man, if you can take the kids for one year." Um, then I'll move into the motorhome because I'd got you know I traded for this motorhome or I don't know if I got it yet but anyway those are the dump trucks if you can do a year man then I'll move into the motorhome you know if she didn't think I could ever take care of the three kids why she went back to work and so anyway so she got on bed rest had Kevin I started uh, Kevin two weeks old I put him in a backpack on my back at two weeks old and had Katie and Carr with me we did five auctions a week I had three kids with me and I ran five auctions a week buying and selling at different auctions and doing flea markets on the weekends and Carr most of the time I take Carr with me to the you know and help me with the flea markets and stuff and then she'd take care of the kids on the weekends Kitty would and we just did this thing and I did this for a year so then we sold out uh, everything man moved into a motorhome ran in a motorhome lived in a motorhome doing running around the country doing flea markets antique shows and stuff for five or six years and then ended up uh, the motorhome blew up and stuff like that I ended up going back to because uh, we were debt free and then we ended up having to borrow some money to get a van and ended up I was still running junk but uh ended up uh, doing the handyman thing started doing some handyman stuff actually me and my brother Vaughn hooked up and started doing oh and Zach me and Zach had a, a KZ construction was in there somewhere too man we did some other so me both of my brothers me and both of them I had a business ran Zach ended up having uh, marital problems his wife took off back to Washington so he followed her we did a business for about a year and then me and my other brother Vaughn we did a business, man, and it was going good. We were actually climbing, man. We were doing amazing, man, doing, building a lot of decks, you know, roofs, a lot of remodels, everything like that. It was going good, making good dang money. And that's when I came off the loft and broke my foot off and ended up in a wheelchair and a uh, 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 hospital bed for almost a year. So that kind of put a halt on the construction stuff. Finally, when I healed up from that, Oh, why I was doing that is when eBay, because eBay had started coming along, so I started doing eBay, you know, because I could sit there doing eBay, and I had junk, we were actually living in a warehouse, um, with all surrounded by all my stuff, we'd lost the mobile home and stuff we'd bought, so I was living in a warehouse, started selling all this stuff on eBay, and while we were doing that, man, I was starting to heal up and stuff, we bought another house in Meridian, moved into that, I did, uh, um, what the heck was I doing when I was doing Oh, crap, that? man. I just break in here real fast because I was in there pre watching that or uh, editing that video. Miss Kitty's all he didn't even tell him about driving tow truck and uh, car hauler. So yeah, in this period of time, I also drove a car hauler hauling uh, 
you know, multiple cars behind a semi for about a year. And I also drove tow truck and uh, recovery rigs, and I did that for about doing two years. roofing. Oh, and then I started my scrap business. So I had a scrap business for, I don't know, three or four years, man. Kevin Salvage ran it, man, did fairly well till then, till the, till the scrap prices dropped, and that's when the big crash came or the crunch and all that. Everybody, and I lost my house, my four wheeler, my truck, all that. In the process of that, um, and I had a shop that I rented all the time. In the process of that, we ended up losing or short selling our house, moving over to a rental. Um, at the same time that we were moving into this rental, I rented a store, opened up a trading post store, a buy sell trade store, um, ran it for a year, couldn't keep the house I was renting, the house shop that I was renting, so we ended up living in the back of the store for a year. Um, after a year of the store and realizing how much it was costing to keep the doors open, I uh, found another place, this dump that I was gonna supposed to be able to buy after two years that I fixed up, went in there, man, fixed the floors, did everything, started fixing this place up, realized the guy was full of crap, um, and didn't plan on selling it to me after the two years like it was. So, and then the whole time we had always wanted to do a homestead, so in the two years there is when we started looking for this place, we found this place, I've been doing, uh, you know, and then in between of some of the construction stuff, like I said, the flea markets, all that stuff kept going on all the time. Um, you know what I mean? Or, uh, anyway, so open the store. Oh my God, there's so much. That's what I'm saying, man. There's so much, and there's so much I'm forgetting because back in the 20s, back when I was at Henderson, is when I went out and did the bass tournaments for two years. And like I said, I almost got divorced over that crap because, man, it was costing me so much money, and I was not making no money. All I was doing was paying to go fish these tournaments. So anything else, man, freaking uh, dwarf that you want to know about my freaking life. So here we are today, man. So I've got uh, 35 years experience buying and selling junk. Uh, rounded up freaking 10, 15 years construction. Two seasons of uh, bass tournaments. I was no bass pro. And what was the other thing? Oh, I'm a master builder. I never said I was a master builder, but I've been taught by a lot of master builders. Well, crap, man. This video could go on forever. Also, guess what else I did, Dorf? I also raced a, uh, a little pickup truck out at the racetrack, man, for two seasons. Man, can you believe it? Dude, I'm a NASCAR driver, man. But no, I did. I raced, raced a little Chevy Love for two seasons. You talk about an expensive hobby, man. That's all I got to say what. about that, you keyboard warrior. So, good Lord willing, and the cricks don't rise. Now can I go make you guys a... Uh, fishing or uh, actually it's going to be a morel hunting video this morning so now it's going to be delayed one day so you can just tell old f ford or whatever whatever his name is on there i don't know i blocked and deleted his butt so good lord well the cricks don't rise we'll be back again tomorrow see ya